Hey everybody, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a little side-by-side -side comparison between two of my favorite single-serve coffee making options in the world of single-serve coffee. That's the Tassimo T45, the Brewbot, as it's popularly known, and the Keurig B60, which is a machine I use every day and love. Gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison, talk about some of the differences between the two, and of course, brew some coffee. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, so these are the two most popular single-serve coffee machines on the market right now. So if you are interested in checking out single-serve coffee, you're probably going to find a lot of information about these two machines. So let's go ahead and talk about the differences between the two. Each one has its own water tank mounted to the machine. In the case of the Tassimo T45, there's a 61-ounce tank, which also has a water filter, an optional water filter, in it. So you can use pretty much any water and it'll get filtered before it actually goes into the machine for brewing. In the case of the B60, it has a 48 ounce water tank. However, there is not a water filter in this tank. But you can add a water filter to this tank if you wish. So, really just depends on your own personal preference. You can't always just use filtered water at home in either of these machines and skip the filter altogether. Now, the big difference between these machines is how they brew and what kind of coffee pods they use. In the case of the Keurig B60, it makes use of K-cups. We've talked about K-cups plenty of times before. They're vacuum sealed and pre-filled with coffee. There's over 250 different types of K-cups available to you. In the case of the Tassimo T45, it makes use of T-discs. And T-discs are a proprietary format on which you will find these barcodes. This barcode is actually going to be read by the T45 when you start brewing and tell the machine exactly how it should brew the coffee. So that's why we lovingly call it the brew bot because it actually is a robot that reads this barcode and figures out how it should brew the coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop some discs, pop a T-disc into the T45 right here and I'm gonna take a K-cup and pop it into my Keurig B60. All right, so when I close up the B60, it's gonna puncture the K-cup that I've just put into the machine. Now it's ready to start brewing, as is the T45. I have a coffee tea disc in the T45 ready to brew, and all I need to do is place a cup. Now, the T45 does not have a whole lot of programmability, and that is the difference between these two machines. T45 just has this one very simple silver button, and all I need to do is press that button to start brewing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press that. And now the T45 is going to start its brew process. It takes a little bit longer because it has to read that barcode and get the water ready. But the T45 definitely has more pressure than the Keurig B60. So let me go ahead and show you the difference here, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and brew the medium cup size on the B60. Now, as I say, that is the difference between these two machines. When it comes to cup size, the B60 lets you choose your cup size a little more selectively, and it definitely brews a little bit faster than the T45. The T45's cup size is going to be dependent on that barcode that is on the T-disc, because that is set by the coffee roaster, depending on how they have tested with the machine and decided that the coffee should brew. So you'll wanna keep that in mind if you wanna be really selective about your coffee and how you make it using your single serve options. But you can see both of these machines move pretty darn quickly. Already they're both brewing a cup of coffee for me. If I was waiting on a drip machine, I would still be waiting for coffee. But right now, I can smell that coffee and I'm getting ready to drink it. That makes me happy because of how quickly I can get my coffee and get out the door and get on with my day. That is a great thing about single serve coffee. So that's something to keep in mind, guys. You're gonna save time, and you're also gonna save money because you're not gonna have as much coffee waste when you're using single serve options such as the B60 and the Tassimo T45. So you can see the B60 finished faster than the T45. However, I will tell you that a distinct difference between these two machines is the amount of pressure that there is in the brewing process. The B60 does not have a whole lot of pressure when it is brewing 
the coffee through a K cup. The T45 definitely has more water pressure as it brews through that tea disc. So it really depends on how you like your coffee. You may find that you like the coffee out of one machine a little more than you like it out of another. Now, cleanup is really easy on both of these machines. On the T45, we do need to wait until it gives us a little go sign here on the silver button because there is pressure in this machine. If you pop it open too early, you will feel a lot of pressure being released from the machine. So just give the T45 a little time to finish its job and then take out that spent tea disc and you can just toss that. In the case of the K-cup, again, just simply take out the K-cup and you're ready to toss it. Now, something the folks wonder about is how many different drinks can they make using these machines? Well, you have more options in some ways on the B60 than you do on the T45, but on the T45 you also have a really great wealth of options that you do not have on the B60. I'll tell you guys what I mean. We can make tea in both of these machines, and I'll go ahead and do that right now. I've got a Twinings Early Grey, <coughs> Earl Grey right here, tea disc, and I'm just going to pop that guy into the T45 and close it up. And when I'm making a T in the T45, I've definitely found that I need to use a larger cup size. So I'm going to go ahead and use a larger cup in the T45 for my T. In the case of my B60, again, I have a Celestial Seasonings K cup right here. I'm going to pop this guy in and I'm going to get ready to brew some tea. So we're going to go ahead and do tea on both of these machines. But Here's a big difference between these two machines, guys, while they're doing their jobs and making tea. Let me tell you about some of the other differences that you have access to here. With the Keurig machine, you can make your own coffee. That's an option you do not have on the Tassimo T45. You, there's no option yet for making your own coffee using a T45. However, with the Keurig, you do have a lot of different options for your own coffee. So if you like Starbucks and if you like Dunkin' Donuts, things like that, you can do that a lot easier with the Keurig machine. You can also do iced drinks with both of these machines, iced coffees, iced teas, things like that. However, in the case of the Keurigs, you are going to find a wealth of different K-cups that are made specifically for doing iced drinks. But here's a leg up that the T45 has over the, the Keurig B60, and that is that the Keurig is a one-stop shop for a multitude of different drinks which you don't have access to on the B60, such as being able to make cappuccinos, lattes, hot chocolates, all using tea discs. So in the case of making a cappuccino right here, I have a cappuccino milk creamer tea disc. And if I were to be making a cappuccino using the T45, I could simply use this cappuccino tea disc, this milk tea disc, in conjunction with an espresso tea disc, and I would be able to make a cappuccino using one machine. So that's something that's really cool about the Tassimo T45, guys, something that the, the Keurig B60 can't do, is some of these drinks that are very specialty and would usually require a multitude of different machines, T45 can do them all. Hot cocos, lattes, cappuccinos, and a lot of other different drinks. And you can check out some of our videos on aromacup.com for some great recipes that you can make using the T45. So keep that in mind. If you like a lot of different drinks, you may want to check out the T45 because you do get access to all those different beverage types. But again, on the B60, you can still make a multitude of different beverages. And, of course, it's always important to check the temperature between your two machines when you're doing a side-by-side, -side, right? So let's go ahead and see about some temperature differences between these two machines. I'm going to go ahead and just drop my handy-dandy thermometers into each of these and I'm going to see what my reading comes out at. Now keep in mind, in the case of the Keurig B60, I can program my temperature setting to be a little bit different. And sometimes the temperature that comes out of your machine will depend on how many brews you did previously and various things like that. So you'll want to keep that in mind. But in the case of both of these machines, they're coming out both about the same right now, actually. Uh, and, and that's okay. Again, this is going to depend on how you like your drink. If you like a very, very hot drink, you can dial in the temperature a little more readily on the B60. But in the case of both of these, I'm coming in at about 160 degrees right now. So a little lower, but as I say, that can depend on how many brews you've done previously and various things like that. 
Cleanup, of course, as I say, is easy on both of these machines. Just open each one up and take out your spent T-disc or K-cup, and you're good to go. So this is something that I really, really like about these machine guys, is how quick and easy they are. I have four drinks right here, all ready to go. If I had friends over, I would already be done, and I could go hang out. If I needed to get out the door, hopefully not with four drinks, but you never know, depends on how much you need, you would be ready to go. So there you go, guys. Side-by-side -side comparison of two great single-serve machines, the Tassimo T45, the BrewBot, and of course the Keurig B60. Awesome ways to get into the world of single-serve coffee making. All right, guys, let's do a little frequently asked questions portion here on these two machines. Uh, let's go to the bottom line and just go over again just the very bottom line differences between these two machines. The biggest one, no matter what, is the difference in the coffee pod that you're going to make use of. K-cups are always going to be used in your Keurig machine, and in the case of your Tassimo, you're going to use T-discs. These are both very different. You know, These would not cross over. You could not use a T-disc in a Keurig machine or vice versa. That just would not work. So that's a bottom line difference between these two machines. Uh, when it comes to selection of the number of pods which you have access to, you will find that there's a large array of K-cups available to you by many different coffee roasters. You will also find a number of different tea discs, and uh, it's going to depend on really the kind of drink that you like. And of course, depending on how you like to dial in your drink, you are going to want to choose wisely between these two machines. As I say, the T45 essentially does all the work for you, decides how much water is going to go into the brew, and it does all of the work. You don't really set the drink size with the T45. However, with the B60, you do have the option to dial in your drink size and your temperature settings a little more readily. Beyond that, both of them has a, have a great range of drinks which they do have available to them, and of course, cleanup is really easy. You're gonna save money and you're gonna save time, which is really important. Biggest question that everyone has about these two machines, can I make my own coffee? As I say, yes you can with the Keurig B60 and the other Keurig single serve coffee making options, but you can only do that with the Keurig. You cannot do that with the Tassimo T45. Unfortunately, there is not an option for making your own coffee at this time. So if you like to use your own coffee grounds and your own coffee blends, things like that, you're gonna to wanna to go with the Keurig B60 or another Keurig machine in order to be able to make your own coffee. Everyone wonders about the warranty on these two machines and each machine has its own one year factory warranty. So if you have any problems within one year of purchasing the machine, you are going to be covered by the factory warranty. However, with the Keurig B60 and the other Keurig machines, you do have the option to join the Cafe Express Coffee Club and get a full lifetime warranty on the Keurig B60. If you're interested in finding out more about that, join us at aromacup.com to find out some more information. Unfortunately, at this time, there is not a lifelong warranty option for the Tassimo T45. Everyone wonders, again, about the number of drinks and the type of drinks that you can make using these two machines. Now, as I say, you can make your own coffee using the Keurig B60. You have access to K-cups for not only hot drinks, but also cold drinks, so there are a lot of different options there. However, with the Bosch Tassimo T45 BrewBot, you do have the option to make milk-based drinks. And again, I was talking about, in this case, the Cappuccino uh, Milk Creamer Tea Disc, this allows you to make milk-based drinks, and again, because of the pump type that is in the T45, you can make espresso-based drinks. Now, keep in mind, the Tassimo tea discs, which are espresso tea discs, are a bit of an espresso blend. So if you're really picky about your espresso, you may not find that this matches your needs exactly, but you can make a lot of espresso-based drinks and milk-based drinks using the Tassimo T45 that you could not do without the use of a secondary accessory with the Keurig B60. And the big question, right? Which one is better? Well, I personally love both of these machines, and I really think that when you come right down to it, they're kind of matched in a whole lot of ways. One can do something that the other one can't, and it kind of balances the two out. It really depends on what you're looking for in your coffee machine, but I personally love both of these machines. In fact, I kind of like having them both side by side because it's awesome to be able to have the versatility of the Tassimo T45 to be able to make all those different drinks 
that usually if I wanted to make them using the B60, I would have to have a secondary accessory such as an espresso arrochino in order to make milk-based drinks. And also I can't make espresso-based drinks using the Keurig machine. So I wouldn't exactly say that one is better than the other guys, but I would say be choosy about what it is that you like in your single serve coffee machine and you'll make the right decision. And of course, check out overviews of these machines with us at aromacup.com to be able to make a nice informed decision before you purchase.